nice to be here. I've seen, I seen Lady Gaga perform in here. I've seen Lady Gaga in here. It's easy. It's easy to slag Lady Gaga, but the guy puts on a good show. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen him up here singing about his poker face. No, he's a talented bloke. <laughs> then you get a bit older and you go on a holiday with your mates, as I'm sure a few of you are doing, a few young people, and then going on your first holiday with your mates, that's when you see proper carnage. <laughs> and you go on holiday with your mates, you confuse having a laugh and being a major health and safety hazard. <laughs> you see groups of guys walking about the airport, anything to declare, aye, he's a gay boy. <laughs> Oh, that sign said anything to declare and I said he's a gay boy, that's hard, he's gonna be mental, that's hard. He's... <laughs> the carnage starts before you even leave your own country. In the, on the plane, about to leave, the, that's when you see chaos on a plane. You know, guys just like swinging their t-shirts around their head on the plane. <laughs> There's always one guy, delayed. He's getting the final call back in the departure lounge. Final, final call, final call. <laughs> The whole plane's delayed, seatbelts fastened, waiting to go, waiting on this guy. He finally emerges in front of the plane. The sombrero emerges. <laughs> and rather than apologise for the inconvenience and the delay that he's caused everybody on the plane, he just kind of scopes the cabin to find the rest of his pals and shouts, ho ho! <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> and the whole plane's thinking, no chance. That's, <laughs> that's plane better crash. No. <laughs> Guy's swinging his T-shirt around his head, singing. It's a kind of flights that you want to see a hijacker on, on that plane. <laughs> you want to see an Al-Qaeda suicide bomb attempt on that plane, Glasgow to Palma. <laughs> I don't mean that in a self-congratulatory way. I think the hijackers would have the manpower, the willpower, determination, and the belief that only stumbling block would be getting a word in. On that flight, Glasgow to Palma, you've spent the last 15 years of your life in Taliban training camps, on the flight simulators, ready to die for a cause you believe in, ready to give your life for 72 virgins, <laughs> for Allah, for the Jihad. You're on that plane, you're trying to stay focused, it must be pretty intense, the place you need to go to inside your mind to commit such an atrocity. You're trying to stay concentrating whilst an inflatable crocodile gets smacked <laughs> off the back of him. <laughs> Gonna pass that back up, mate. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. But the show must go on. The kamikaze headband goes on, you're in the aisle, shouting, Arakma! Arakma! Nobody bats an eyelid. <laughs> People singing and banging the windows. <laughs> Arakma! People having drunken conversations, just, uh, are we humans or are we dancers? <laughs> that song really spoke to me. Huh. <laughs> so obviously I'm, I'm, I'm human, but I like to dance. I don't know. Is there an option for a guy like me in this? <laughs> oh, God, He's hijacking the plane, I'll burst him, where is he? I'll put the fag out in a minute, mate. I'm dealing with a potential terror threat here. <laughs> if 
fucking jobs worth. <laughs> the guy still shoots. Ah, Akbar! Sit in your arse. I'm trying to see the telly. Ah, right. <laughs> uh, it's Cronenberg. Just the uh, wee cans. Pringles. 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 And eventually. <laughs> Eventually, tell the guy to sit in his arse and cuddle the guy. But a beautiful moment for world peace, not just sitting there, not saying, oh, you're killing yourself for 72 virgins, mate. We're going to Magaluf, man. <laughs> now, the war on terror, that was supposed to be Obama's thing. The war on terror is going to end that. Obama, they get quite excited. We've got any, we've got any Americans in the room? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just one guy doing a shite accent. I don't know how they come to Glasgow, the Americans, they visit Edinburgh and they come to... Got any Edinburghers? <laughs> Big boo for Edinburghers. I don't mean this in a disrespectful way, but I've never really heard the term Edinburghers. Now when you hear a conversation, I don't mean this in a disparaging way. You hear a conversation in Scotland, there's an Invernesian, an Aberdonian, a Dundonian, a Glaswegian and a cunt for Edinburgh. <laughs> You never hear Edinburghers, it's cunt for Edinburgh. That's what they're called. <laughs> Good to see we've got a few cunt for Edinburgh made it through. <laughs> I love the Americans in Edinburgh. I love them, they're enthusiastic. Not up at Edinburgh Castle, the Americans thinking it's a high school. Because <laughs> they hear gunshots every lunchtime. You see the entrance, you see the intro, Tony Soprano, eh? I don't even drive, man. See how smooth that was? I don't even drive. <laughs> It'd kind of ruin Tony Soprano's image if he'd just whipped out a provisional driving license. Right? <laughs> you believe this fucking cag sucker? <laughs> so, we would feed a bit of racial animosity in this city, in Glasgow, when we get our terrorist attack. Remember that? Glasgow Airport, we got our own little terrorist attack. Pretty proud of that. Kind of put us on the map. <laughs> Islamic fundamentalists attacked New York, Madrid, London, and then Glasgow. <laughs> we were fucking flattered. <laughs> My dad had a tear in his eye. It's a proud day, son. <laughs> That's us on the telly. Look at that, I've been there. <laughs> I've parked there. <laughs> and everybody had a laugh, but terrorism does have a negative side. <laughs> it did create a kind of racial divide. I witnessed this firsthand on a train going down south, on this train. Just me sitting here and a middle aged guy sitting just along a bit. Now, a couple of stops later, a woman of Asian appearance boarded the train and sat beside the middle-aged guy who immediately stood up and walked away. Right. You ever seen that film, Snakes on a Plane? <laughs> and this was Jake's on a train. Right, that's funny. Right. <laughs> walked away. Right. <laughs> the middle-aged guy stood up and just walked away and sat beside me. He started to nudge me. Well, that way a scumbag presumes that you're also going to be a scumbag. <laughs> Nudging me, and he's pointing. And he said, I don't, I don't fancy sitting beside her, pal. No chance. She'll be one of the, one of the suicide bombers. <laughs> I'm taking no chances. I thought, I can see your logic here, mate. You thought she might be a suicide bomber, so you've came and sat four seats away. <laughs> Seriously, underestimating the power of Semtex. 
Did you get a stink bomb? <laughs> this is the jihad for Anna. Oh, that is fucking both in him. <laughs> oh. Window, smelly Taliban bastards. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is disgusting. <laughs> Somebody get a can of Febreze, there's been a terrorist attack. <laughs> that is absolutely minging. When you're stuck with a guy the whole way, going down south, going to London. The guy said, are you going to London? And I said, oh, I'm going to London. And he said, I don't like London. <laughs> Guys like me and you, mate, we're the foreigners in London. They're coming over here, mate, and they're speaking Punjabi. <laughs> I don't know the way the guy said Punjabi, it was pretty funny. They're speaking Punjabi. <laughs> they're wearing these burkas, mate. This is our country. If they want to come into our country, they should at least be adapting to our culture. And I'm looking at this guy, thinking, I bet when he goes abroad, he really blends in. <laughs> Walking about Lanzarote, looking for a Greggs. <laughs> you don't understand my accent? A daily record, you dick. Hope you've had a laugh, hope you've had a, a smile, not that sort of stuff. Some jokes make you laugh, some make you smile. <laughs> Thank you.